I have to be honest with you. It just feels good to be able to look at a camera and for the first time feel good doing it. Knowing, well, okay, I'm up eight pounds. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about all the stuff I've done in the last 10 years to lose over 300 pounds. And hopefully, just maybe, it inspires you to start your journey for whatever your goals are. My name is Eric, and God damn it, you're gonna enunciate that E, Emmanuel. And I used to be 500 pounds. And you're probably hearing that a lot lately. And you may be hearing a lot of stuff on my channel about video games and weight loss and things like that. But for me, all of this is about connecting with you guys. And a simple point is, I want you guys to be around a lot longer. I don't say that to fat shame anybody, but how my friends let me get up to 500 pounds and not one of them looked at me and went, Hey bud, let's go ahead and cut this out. They should have. Now, that's nobody else's responsibility. I take full ownership. So I want to give you a couple of my tips and tricks that I've done to change around my life entirely. But before we get into that, I want to give you a little backstory. Here's a little bit about me. Everybody in my life used to say words like big boned. That doesn't exist. It doesn't. What is big boned is I overate food. Simple as that. As a math genius, when you eat two croissants, a large hash brown, a large Coke, every single morning, even when you go to the gym for two hours and walk on a treadmill 3.5 miles an hour for almost four to five miles a day, it is not going to overcome 1,500 calories for breakfast, two McDoubles, a large fry, and a soda for dinner. Just not going to happen. Add up the salt, add up the fat, add up everything. You're not going to win. Now throw in a bunch of other sugar, 200 ounces of soda a day, and you see how I got as big as I did. Now, me personally, a little bit about me, is I found out later on in life that I had a herniated disc is when I was at my fattest. However, I came back from California and I dropped 70 pounds rapidly and I went to the doctor and they ran every test in the world and was like, you're actually healthy, we, there's nothing wrong with you. But then they prescribed Alpralazam for me. Why? Because as I was losing all this weight, my leg was shaking. And for the first time, I'm sitting in chairs and after I sat at a desk working on YouTube here for 10 years, it turns out um, I had sciatica. I would walk a block as a kid and my right leg would go numb. So if you have that feeling of lower back pain or something like your right leg goes numb or your left leg goes numb, for me that was the simplest sciatica. I can't tell you what it was like to be an elite athlete and to hit a ball to the fences in baseball and softball and not even get a double because you couldn't round the bases. It was embarrassing. So you can imagine me when later on in life I now do yoga. Things like this, stretching, things that people mocked my entire life. And when I do yoga, I feel great. And in the last week, I stopped doing yoga. I hit my daily step goal, but I stopped doing yoga and stretching, and guess what? I craved carbs. I put on eight pounds. I'm in a bulk. I went back to my old ways. But I wanted to do that for the channel to see if anybody would notice a difference. My face starts to get puffier, fatter. But that's where you're in control. What I've learned throughout that entire 10 year period is it's just about making smaller choices. Because of my job, I now walk a lot. If you have a factory job, you could pretty much probably get away with whatever you want to eat if you're moving and you're constantly, your needs way up. So the advice to people, you may need to put on weight and you may need to be better food to put on muscle. You may just be burning it off. For me, I simply ate too many carbs, too many sugars. So for me, I went to a high protein diet. During that period when I went from 500 to 400, I was eating soups, salads, spinach. I didn't need to eat that crap. It was fine because all my tests came back fine, but I was under eating protein. So now I eat a heavy protein diet. I stretch. I uh, try to drink tons of water. If I'm dehydrated, I tend to notice I crave more energy drinks. And even though I have energy, it's weird. I cut back my caffeine. So now let's talk about the actual things I did and everything we just talked about right there. So I wake up now. In an ideal world, I'm going to get up, brush my teeth, do all the stuff I probably never used to do, <laughs> executive functioning stuff, and then I'm going to go about my day. In an ideal world, I'm doing yoga right away. In an ideal world, like Andrew Huberman says, I'm out bike riding, trying to get a mile, two miles, three miles in. The first week I came home, I got to do that, and then the rain started, and the snow started, and I got to lose my biking. 
So now I got to find a way to get cardio early on in the morning. I just perform better. That's just me. I kind of get out the Eric in the morning. Then I go about my day. Um, food, stuff like that. Um, I will tell you, for me personally, I just like yogurts now. If you ever seen the show Michael Weston and Burn Notice, I'm kind of like Michael Weston. I could go with just yogurts, uh, chicken breast, protein, all day long. I'm weird. But then the second I start cheating on food and start craving sugar, I have like five pounds of chicken in the fridge. It's just sitting there. Now I'm slowly getting back into it. But for me, when I eat sugar, carbs, it just spirals, man. I don't know if you have that. So my tips and tricks is to stay active. You got to keep stretching for me. For me, yoga works. I don't care if dudes mocked it your entire life. I feel better. And if you're looking for changes, yoga is free on YouTube. You don't have to sign up for a gym membership. You don't have to worry about having money. You turn on the TV right there and you get a yoga mat. Go to TJ Maxx, spend nine bucks. I promise you, if you've never stretched as a big guy, when I went from 500 to 430 pounds, I did GDP yoga. Do you know what that was? I did his breathing exercises. I just learned to breathe in my nose and stop mouth breathing, which then led me to having less muscle pain, less sciatic outbreaks, more moving. Because you find out with sciatica, the worst thing you can do is sit in a chair and sit. You got to stay moving. But it's funny, when nobody knows you have sciatica your entire life, a doctor tells you to rest. And then you sit in a bad chair, in bad posture, making it worse. So those are just the things I've done. I went from drinking 200 ounces plus of soda a day to now I drink tons of water. I drink way too many energy drinks. But at least now I'm trying to make better choices when I used to pop the 300 milligram ones, the rains, the bangs. I try to limit them. So like all the 140, so even if I have three a day, it's right around the 400 milligrams. I try to focus on things that keep me satiated throughout the day. The protein bars from Aldi, they're $3.99. It's a box. They're 96 grams of protein for the entire box. A thousand calories. I'll eat the entire box all day. It tastes like scatcheroos. And I have tons of protein in me. Is it soy protein? Can we debate how bad soy protein is? Do I have man boobs? I don't know. I'm not trying to debate that with you. I'm debating a thousand calories at three ninety nine, ninety six 96 grams of protein. It works for me. There is no right or wrong answer. So in all these tips or tricks, hopefully you're just seeing, it's just calling yourself out. It truly is. Just look at yourself in the mirror and if you're trying to lose weight and you say, I try everything. Document how much you're eating. It took me literally punching it into an app and I'm talking the little things, like you just go to leave the door earlier. I left and grabbed two little Reese's. Two of those little Reese's cups are like 140 calories and like 20 some grams of sugar. In those two little Reese's cups, that's more sugar than I usually eat in a day. And then I was craving sugar when I left and then I had more food. It spirals, it's how it works. Stay disciplined, stay on top of it, but just start small. If you were like me, you wanna know how I started? When I went to McDonald's, instead of getting the Two burgers, large fry, and a large soda. I stopped getting the large fry and the large soda and kept getting the two burgers. You don't have to make big changes. You can start small. And if you're drinking regular soda, everybody's going to tell you not to drink diet. But it's better than regular. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That's up to you to decide. I'm not giving up energy drinks. I don't even though I don't need them for energy. That's the weird thing. I'm now drinking energy drinks for the actual caffeine because I can focus, shut my brain off, listen to audiobooks. It's so weird. <sighs> Neat, it's a term you may hear all the time. Just get up and be more active. Like getting up, picking up stuff around the household, uh, carrying the garbage out, just little things. Things like if you ever watch Nathan for you, mocking stuff. It adds up at the end of the day. And lastly, for me, if I eat late, I'm going to weigh in late. What that means is simply, I weigh myself every day. Okay? I went on a binge the last five days. I went up eight pounds. You want to know what I said when I stepped on the scale this morning? Oh, I weigh 192. I was 192.4. I hadn't stepped on a scale in five days. I know my body that well. <laughs> it's not hard. Calories... In, calories out, expenditures, amount you're doing. Break down your walls. Take Chris Jericho's theme song. 
break the walls down, call yourself out. I'm a support. I'm a resource. You can hit me up at the Eric Emanuel on Twitter, at Tubby Emu. There's two of them. I'm here. We're going to do this together. This isn't, this isn't something that's hopeless, man. Start making changes and start doing them today. We got this. Those are just some of the things I've done. I stopped drinking so much soda. I started walking a hell of a lot more. I started eating way more protein. If you under eat protein, I promise you, you're gonna have cravings elsewhere. And when I under eat protein, I cheat on food and I spiral. Four, don't be afraid to have something you can look forward to. But if you weigh yourself daily, just know, when we used to have cheat meals back in the day with Pulse, we'd have cheat meals on Tuesday. You weigh yourself every day, Wednesday, you're going to be up and wait. Thursday, you're going to be up and wait. It's usually not till Friday for me that I'm back at the same weight if I have a cheat meal. You don't have to beat yourself up. You don't have to be hard on yourself. Every day, you get to wake up and try to do something to make yourself feel better. And that's all I've done for 10 years. Pick and choose through everybody's advice what you should or shouldn't do and what works best for me. That's what you should do. That's what you should take away from all my stuff. All my overthinking of, should I eat this? Should I do that? Should variety this? Do you need that and that? Do you need this recipe? No. You need what's going to work for you and what's going to make you make better decisions every day. You don't need me to sell you anything. You don't need me to tell you to pick up a product. You need to determine you want to make changes and slowly start doing the things that are going to keep you accountable. That's what you need. But if you need somebody by your side who's done it, I'm here. So let me know. Do you want to make changes? Are you trying to put on weight? Are you trying to gain the subscribers? Are you trying to yeah, lose weight? Are you trying to gain fitness? Are you trying to become more flexible? What are your goals? Let me know in the comment section below. And hopefully, hopefully, maybe you're like me and you're stuck and you didn't know where to start. I went out and started walking five miles a day. I immediately at 500 pounds started eating a 1500 calorie diet and every day I puked up over a stomach a pound of stomach acid every day and over three months I lost 90 pounds and the doctors thought I was entirely crazy and it turns out I had sciatica and was sitting on my bad back because seven years later a doctor goes textbook sciatica it's been a crazy 10 years but it never would have happened if I didn't start make changes find out where you're at and let me know where you're at in your journey. Until next time, Eric Emanuel, I gotta go um, do yoga. Wow. Anybody, we should start a dude yoga club. Yeah. Until next time, double E. And God damn it, you better enunciate that E. Emanuel. Signing out. Yoga time. <laughs>